got my PPE. All eyes on me. I'm joined here today with Craig and Balfour from our healthcare division. They're going to help show and demonstrate how to build the perfect containment. There's two types of containment, limited and full. And depending on the size and the area that you're containing, depends on which type of containment you're gonna build. And our next step is to show you exactly what a partially built containment looks like. This is a six mil poly containment that goes up relatively quickly. We've used double-sided tape for ease of use and quick installation. And we've also created a strapping system with some gussets that we use to attach to a T-bar ceiling. It goes up really quick and it builds a very tight and strong containment. And over here we have a modular system that we create out of steel studs. This is usually used for longer term containments. It's usually covered with chloroplast or 5 8 type X drywall. Um, and these are used in high traffic areas. Next step in the process is we're gonna add a zipper so we have access to the negative side of the workspace from the unaffected side. And it's a one piece zipper that's self adhesing We start at the top and roll it down to the bottom. Once the zipper is installed, you unzip it, cut a, uh, cut a slice in the poly, and that will give you access to your work area. The next step in our process is to put the containment under negative pressure. By doing that with this air filtration device, it's going to create a negative environment on the contained side. What will happen is the air will come into our air filtration device It'll go through the HEPA filter, which stands for high efficiency particulate air, and it'll blow out 99.97 clean, pure air on the other side. Can we just cut an X out here? Oh, you got it? Okay. Let's go ahead and cut the X. Okay. Once the negative air machine is running, it pulls against the poly, and that is what is considered negative air pressure. And the final stage in the process is we will seal all contact points of the containment with another layer of tape to ensure that we have a sealed environment. There you have it, folks. It may seem like a simple process, but you want to make sure that the containment for your facility is built appropriately for the loss that you have. And if you have a loss and need some help, give us a call and we'll send out one of our trained and certified infectious control technicians. Where 24-7 is not just a number, it's a guarantee.